What um, I'm most proud of is that, one, we've recognized that this work can't be done off the side of anybody's desk, that we need, as Nathan has said multiple times, we need to be intentional about it. And so we recently hired a director of culture, community and events, because it really is when you think about Eventbrite, what happened in 2020, we know what happened to us during the pandemic. Since then, 75 percent of our employees are zero to three, the zero to three year population was hired after the pandemic. So all of us, and we're, we're virtual, right? Most of us are virtual. So we really needed to focus on culture and community because there's just so much newness to our 17-year-old company. And so having someone whose job this is, Chris Martinez joined us from Oyster. Oyster was 100% remote. So like it's ingrained in how he works. And so I really look forward to him coming in and helping us get better at this, right? And bringing the intentionality of when do we have a regional join up? When are we going to have a team join up? When do we just have a the local join up that's impromptu? And how do we, one of the focuses is not just on him doing it, but is in creating that DIY playbook so that if I decide I want to have a pop-up and Taco Tuesday, how do I make sure that it is inclusive? So um, you see where my mind is, Taco Tuesday. So how do I do that in my region so that, again, we have more culture carriers? You know, while it is going to be his role, you know, part of it will be how do we make everyone a culture carrier, right? Because day to day, I work with Nathan. I'm not going to necessarily be working with Chris. And those are the moments that matter, the day to day interaction that help decide and help employees help us retain employees. It's, it's not always the big three day conference. You know, that might give you a six month bump but it's the day to day. So really wanting um, our, our focus is going to be on creating more culture carriers and ambassadors to this work.